Hi guys, it's 9-11, 9-11-2018, 9-11-2001. Do you remember exactly what you were doing that day? I certainly do. But within 17 years, let me tell you, we have seen our planet and the people on it radically change. And when you have so many countries radically changing in a short amount of time, you can bet that those changes have been engineered by man. Nothing organic has taken place. No natural changes. And the changes that we have seen have been incredibly dangerous, destructive, evil. Well, if it is not natural, then we've got an awful lot of two-leggeds out there who are incredibly evil, who are bringing in all of these changes. One of the changes was all of the chemicals and heavy metals dumped into our atmosphere. Barium turns purple-red a purple red color when exposed to sunlight oxygen in the atmosphere lithium can turn a bright red in the atmosphere or a bright pink or a light faded red that it, it, it really depends on how much lithium they are dumping into the atmosphere I want to show you what our sky in Anderson, South Carolina looks like an awful lot of the time now. We've got black clouds, pink clouds, shocking pink clouds, red skies, purple red skies, and that is from the lithium and the barium. This was last night, September 10. You see all of the black lines there? That's the black carbon dust. And because there are lines of it equally spaced, that is coming from microwave frequencies. So you see the purple and you see the pink, and I'm sorry for it being, you know, um, jumpy. But I wanted to include the full video I was walking around. This these colors were in opposite directions so this is not about the sun setting but I will show you how black carbon dust can dissipate clouds so you saw that very pink cloud you see the black carbon dust and you see the, the um, lines of black carbon dust Well, at the tail end, you will see that that bright pink cloud, you'll see the black carbon attached to that cloud, and it begins to dissolve right before your eyes. Voila. See the black carbon dust on the cloud? All right. Well, we do have these colors in our sky now all the time. The dumping of lithium and barium and the adding to the barium, strontium, or lithium can also produce a purple-red color. Now the yellow, I tried to find out what that could be, and I was unable to. But we're breathing this in, okay? We are breathing in aluminum, barium, strontium, lithium, and an awful lot of other chemicals, metals. And that is what is causing 
all of the different cloud colors that we now have. The black carbon dust that we are breathing in, what they are spraying in the atmosphere, it comes down into, well, atmosphere, that's our air. And we breathe in these nanoparticulates that cross our blood-brain barrier. And, well, I'll show the, you the, the dangerous effects that it has on our brain, particularly children. So I just wanted to show you, you know, what our sky looks like pretty much all the time now. And this was very early evening, but I'll show you what it looked like earlier in the afternoon. Wow, the spraying of chemicals of heavy metals, nanoparticulates. This is our sky. And this does not seem to alarm anyone. No. They just look at it as if it's natural. This is far from natural. These are not contrails. Contrails dissipate. We all know that. These just spread out. Blocking the sun. And we don't only have chemtrails, we have these manufactured clouds, and I'm going to be doing another video on it, manufactured clouds that are just so, it makes life surreal looking at these things. And what makes it really surreal is walking among your fellow two-leggeds and nobody seems to notice the radical change in our environment. And yes, it gets a little uh, you know, you just want to kind of like look at people and say, have you died inside? Are you still alive? You are walking, but you seem a little dead because you're not noticing anything taking place. So, we have Wikipedia. Atmospheric optics. Look at this picture. Now, all of these... Um, what look like tire tracks or these lines in the sky. That is caused by microwave frequencies and all of the different ke uh, colors. That is caused by the particular metals or the black carbon dust that they are dumping into the atmosphere. And Wikipedia has this as like natural, a colorful sky and it's often due to indirect sunlight being scattered off oxygen molecules and particulates like smog, soot, and cloud droplets. So they claim that this is in part natural or soot. Now, jet fuel is, is dispensing an awful lot of very dangerous uh, chemicals and metals and black carbon dust into the atmosphere, but that is deliberate. They've been doing this. They changed the jet fuel how long ago? I think in the late 90s. And it contains black carbon dust. Well, commercial airliners are used to spray our skies, geoengineer our skies. And they're dumping black carbon dust because black carbon dust is a material that they use to modify the weather to modify the temperature pink purple sky yeah you I, I can't even read this crap anymore it's like everything is a friggin lie but I came across this okay toxic air pollution particles found in human brains Detection of abundant magonite particles raises concerns because of suggested links to Alzheimer's disease. Yeah. Okay. Pollution. This pollution is causing climate change, and we've got to, uh, we have to tax everybody because they're breathing. They're breathing, and cows are farting and 
cars are driving and so we've got to get people out of their cars because that's what's causing all of this. It is such unbelievable bullshit. Bullshit detected. Take precautions. Bullshit level DEFCON 5. Come on now, that ain't even bullshit. That's horse shit. Okay, so in brain tissue from 37 people raises concerns because recent research has suggested links between these magnetite particles. Um, in this, you know, they talk about how the abundant particles of magnetite and iron oxide. Hmm. Well, that is what we are breathing, and it's causing oxidative cell damage which is a hallmark feature of Alzheimer's disease. And this is why the presence of magonite is so potentially significant because it is so bioreactive. Those nanoparticulates that they spray, the nanoparticulate metals, they cross the blood-brain barrier. And it's not only the heavy metals. Wi-Fi dangers of Wi-Fi. Huh. The maximum damage was achieved with Wi-Fi. This damage, oxidative cellular stress. What do they talk about in this article? The oxidative cell damage. Wow. Wi-Fi causes oxidative cellular stress. It reduces the body's antioxidants. It causes inflammation and as a result of oxidative stress DNA damage. In a long-term experiment, researchers found that there is delayed development in the postnatal period when the embryo is irradiated. How many pregnant women are sitting with laptops on their stomachs or uh, using their cell phones? And then when the child is born, wow, we're going to put a Wi-Fi monitor right next to the crib and and irradiate our babies our infants Wi-Fi is an important threat to human health now I do want to thank a subscriber who last night left links to some of these uh, or one of the science direct studies but you know, in just doing the research that I did today, what do I come up with? It just there's so many studies that show that Wi-Fi is such a danger to our health. <laughs> Repeated Wi-Fi studies show that Wi-Fi causes oxidative stress, sperm testicular damage, neuropsychiatric effects, including EEG changes, a pop Apoptosis, apoptosis, don't know if that's how you pronounce it, cellular DNA damage, endocrine changes, and calcium overload. Each of those, or each of these effects, are also caused by exposures to other microwave frequency, electromagnetic frequencies, with each such effect being documented in 10 to 16 reviews. We're being so destroyed. Long-term impairment of cognitive functions and alterations of uh, NMDAR subunits after continuous microwave exposure. Long-term effects of cognitive microwave exposure cannot be ignored for the simulation of the real environment and increasing concerns about the negative cognitive effects of microwave exposure. We are exposed to microwaves 24-7. We're bathed in it, saturated in these microwave frequencies. And boy, are we seeing cognitive decline in our populations, not just in the United States, but in other countries. Continuous microwave exposure could cause the dose-dependent long-term impairment of spatial learning, memory, the abnormalities of EEG and hippocampal structures, uh, the injuries that 
studies have seen it causes cognitive impairment. But children, I'm sorry guys, it gets very upsetting to me when I see so many adults that do not give a shit about children or the elderly or animals because those are the vulnerable populations but what we are doing to children is so I don't know I, I can't think of a word that captures that captures the evil that is being committed upon children every single day sending them into these public schools with Wi-Fi parents giving these infants these toddlers their children the cell phones the iPods now we have public schools that the Chrome books are being used they're ditching real hard books for digital learning and that danger my god how easy it is to just mm, well uh, rewrite history but when you think about all of the frequencies coming out of these computers coming out of these Chromebooks coming out of the cell phones we're talking enormous damage cell towers on school property I'm sorry you know yeah I got a comment from somebody who said don't blame the parents I am blaming the parents. I will never stop blaming the parents. And for all of you new agers and people who have been socially engineered to believe that we can't blame anybody, you know, blame, that word blame, suddenly in the early 80s, right when the new age crap started coming out, blame, but it, it was like a word that you just could no longer speak. Well, we used to blame people, and we didn't get looked at as if we were doing something um, so grossly immoral, you know, to just hold people accountable. Now we can't seem to do that. We've got to bring this stuff back. That's just all been socially engineered to shut one another up, to never blame anybody, to allow these programs to just continue on destroying all life. Start blaming people for their really bad behavior. Parents, wake the hell up and recognize what you are doing to your children. Why children absorb more microwave radiation than adults. The consequences to children. It's a carcinogen the World Health Organization has recognized that microwave radiation is a possible, I think they switched it to probable, carcinogen. And you're handing your children, your infants, your toddlers, these Wi-Fi homes, cell phones, and, and you stick them with these iPads. You know, it's like the new babysitter. So they watch all of this crap on these pads being emitted with radiation that is so dangerous, more dangerous to the children than the adults because their, their skulls have not fully developed. How dare parents do this? I'm sorry. And why do I sound like this? You know, it's because I have spoken to so many parents. I haven't been able to get one parent that has responded appropriately to what I have said about the dangerous frequencies coming off of these gadgets that all of these kids are walking around with. Not one. They all showed me they didn't care. So something is terribly wrong with our population we are not well people. Oh, well adjusted to a deeply disturbed society, but we walk around doing things that are so grossly immoral every single day.
And nothing could be more immoral than destroying one's own child. Whether it's vaccines, psychiatric medications, you know, they're forced to live in Wi Fi homes and then they go to Wi Fi schools. And yes, I'm sorry, I think that my expression of how I feel about this is rather appropriate to the reality that we are living. Children absorb more microwave radiation than adults because these, their brain tissue are more absorbent. Their skulls are thinner and their relative size is smaller. Microwave radiation from wireless devices have been declared a possible human carcinogen. Children are at greater risk than adults when exposed to any carcinogen because the average latency time between first exposure and diagnosis of tumor can be decades. So tumors induced in children may not be diagnosed until well into adulthood. The fetus is particularly vulnerable to microwave radiation. Microwave radiation exposure can result in degeneration of the protective myelin sheath that surrounds brain neurons, microwave radiation emitting toys are being sold for use by young infants, sold for use for young infants and toddlers. The young infants and toddlers are not selling them. Uh, digital dementia has been reported in school-aged children. A case study has shown when cell phones are placed in teenage girls' bra bras, multiple primary breast cancer develop beneath where the phones are placed. How dare we do this? Microwave radiation exposure limits have remained unchanged for longer than 19 years. What is the uh, date of this study? 2014, four years ago. The exposure limit for laptop computers and ta tablets is set when devices are tested 20 centimeters away from the body and that is the uh, industry itself it's in the warnings of the cell phones and tablets Belgium France India and other technologically sophisticated governments are passing laws and are issuing warnings about children's use of wireless devices and it's not just those three countries so many countries have been taking Wi-Fi out of schools because of the thousands of studies that prove the dangers of Wi-Fi. Israel, uh, France just announced that it's taking Wi-Fi out of schools. You know, oh God, Americans, you're so unbelievably dangerous. You are dangerous. Dangerous people walking around. So the 5G wireless telecommunications expansion. Shorter high, fee, uh, high frequency 5G wavelengths is being proposed to power the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things promises us convenient and easy lifestyles with a massive 5G interconnected telecommunications network. However, the expansion of broadband with shorter wavelength Radio frequency radiation highlights the concern that health and safety issues remain unknown. Well, no, those health and safety issues, there are studies that prove that 5G is going to only increase the radiation effects and people are going to be dropping like flies. Radio frequency radiation is increasing increasingly being recognized as a new form of environmental pollution like other common toxic exposures the effects of radio frequency electromagnetic radiation will be problematic if not impossible to sort out epidemiologically epidemiologically uh, did I pronounce that right as there no longer remains an unexposed control group wow the planet is saturated now with man-made electromagnetic frequencies and they can't even find an uncontrolled 
or an unexposed control group anymore. Absorption of wireless radiation in the child versus adult brain and eye from cell phone conversation or virtual reality. Children's brains are more susceptible to hazardous exposures. Do you know how many studies there are proving children are getting destroyed? And then when you bring it up to a parent, do they even care enough to do the research? No. And then I'll have people leave comments. You know, you can't communicate this information the way you are because people need it really gently. I'm sorry, guys. We have to grow up, okay? I look at adults as if they are adults. And I'm tired of having to treat adults as if they're children. They are destroying their children. And this has been going on for a very, very long time. And nothing seems to get through to them. You can speak gently. You can provide the information in a way that they demand it be communicated. You can do whatever it is that you want, which I have tried every which way, and nothing seems to get through to any of them because they're so self-absorbed as adults. And that self-absorption, the narcissistic tendencies in most of our population is so glaring in your face and it is everybody's responsibility to work through those narcissistic tendencies and they should have done it before they had children because they they're not healthy enough to have children globally the numbers and applications of wireless devices are increasing rapidly but since 1997, safety testing has relied on a large, homogeneous, adult male head phantom to simulate exposure. It was the standard anthropomorph anthropomorphic mannequin, mannequin sorry, I, bleh, Wi-Fi, microwave radiation, cognitive impairment speech is impaired. Yes, I experience an awful lot of symptoms. Do I like living? Having to get through every single day because I feel sick, because I am experiencing an awful lot of cognitive impairment myself, leaving me struggling to just, you know, function on a basic level? And I'm saying that because I know an awful lot of you feel the same way. And all of this is deliberate. It doesn't have to be. Yes, that angers people. When you affect the quality of somebody's life because you're, you're just surrounded by people who don't give a shit. They don't even care about how they feel. Uh, and then you have all of these people doing it purposely because they want to control everybody and they want billions and billions and billions more money so they destroy your life in the process that's not okay that means we are living in a world that is so profoundly evil and sick and the only way to get it healthy is for individuals to do the work necessary to get themselves healthy. It is not healthy for a parent to not care about their own child's health and never do the research on all of what we are saturated in now. To never do the research on Wi-Fi when they have Wi-Fi in their homes and Wi-Fi in schools. Young eyes and brains absorb substantially higher local radiation doses than adults. So why do you think we have so many kids now who don't have 2020 vision? Cell phone, Wi-Fi, induced EMR appears to induce degenerative effects through increases of oxidative stress. 
and decrease of antioxidants in the brain that affect neuronal physiological functions. Antioxidants seem to counteract the effects. You better start <laughs> eating away at those antioxidants. Cell phone and Wi-Fi exposure to the eyes causes long-term damage. All links are below.